in the car. It's a car park just there. Car park just there. Car park. This is where it all started from. Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see the guy at the uh, the church cafe? Yeah. Waving his going jobbing up and down. Yeah. Did it pick him up on that? <laughs> well, I think I did. Yes. Yeah. I It's, a, it's that platform that moves you on. And from here, I went on to become a teacher and then I went on to run expeditions for kids, climbing and sailing and canoeing. I've done things in Norway and all that. So your education and the platform this, this school gave me allowed me to do all that. And now, of course, I'm off on a little adventure which is linked to the school again. So um, it's just important to think, that I know it's, you know, it's all drudgery and horrible, but one day you'll look back and think, that was all right, actually, that's quite useful. So best of luck to you guys, eh? Mm. And uh, the, the, uh, do you do Russian schools too? No, they're called no. Syrian. So she's been christened babushka. And babushka means grandma in Russian. So the grandma in Russian looks after the family. So I'm quite hopeful she's going to look after me. There, that's it. What's she going to do okay. with the car when you get there? Um, Are they driving it back? It has occurred to me. But I think <laughs> by that time I might have had enough. Uh, for a few thousand quid. Um, and it's going to be a lot more, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because a lot of the people who do Austin Sevens are even older than I am. So they tend to fall off the perch. Surely not, Chris. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they tend to fall off the perch at the other end, and they leave all these cars behind, you see. So there you are. You can think about that. And uh, so, yes, yeah, just a, another way of looking at what goes on, really. Historically, they've got a place, you know. Yeah, very good. I like the easy release style. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're too easy release, so... If you don't tighten them every day, the wheels fall off. So they aren't very good. You can get new steel non-slip ones, but they don't look very nice. Yet. So I go around with the spanner every morning and uh, just make sure the wheels are particularly efficient. And these are a bit more reliable. Um, so that's off the Mini. Which, the Mini was originally called an Austin 7 until 1959, because that was an Austin 7, and then it became Mini, and then it got bought out by BMW. So, you know, historically, this is kind of at the base of many, many things. Yeah, that's it really. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, thank you oh, guys thanks. for turning yeah. up. And, it's nice, uh, lads. Thanks for turning yeah. out. And I hope you, you, some of you will be inspired to want to do really adventurous <laughs> things in your life and, you know, never believe that something can't be done. Let me ask because that's it. Yeah. No, it can. And I mean, really, you know, what you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be left at the end of your life thinking, I wish I'd done that. Yeah. There's a, frame, a bloke who's stimulated a lot of mountaineering things I've done and journeys, a chap called Gino Watkins, who died in the 1930s. And he had a statement, was, uh, if you take every opportunity with both hands, you'll never be left with a might have been. So 
so you've just got to try not to be left with a mitre feed because uh, it's worth having a go, you know. Yes. So that's why people think I'm completely nuts doing this, but you never know, I might make it. And if I don't make it, what might happen as well? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, I can pass on, but I meet lots of nice people like you. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? And that's worth it's, it's like a key to a door. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, driving here today, I've had two fist pumps, <laughs> surfers out, out the side of a Volkswagen, I've had people putting their, their hazard lights on just to say hello, I've had people taking pictures of it. It's just a key. It, it gives you that little way of getting people to talk to you. A man just walked up to me in Curtin from the Bakers. He came here as well. He said he'd seen something on Facebook. He came over and wanted a picture taken. So, you know, if you don't travel you, and you don't see people and meet people, you don't really understand how the other part of the world works. So it's easy now, isn't it? You can jump on a plane and go anywhere, really. But the trouble with that is you don't meet many people. But travelling with this thing, you tend to travel the a bit slower. The world is your lobster, Terry. That's it. Yes. That's it. Good, good. Yeah.